what is going on guys welcome to a new video on the channel this is going to be an exciting one for me um we have a new video i've wanted to do this for a long time i'm going to be talking about tattoo techniques as you can see in the bottom right hand corner it says tattoo technique talk now this is the window of the future <laughs> this is going to be the window of all the techniques that I am going to be digesting in my own way, looking at them and and digesting them in how and what I see. It's not necessarily what the artist's doing, it's just my take on what I think they're doing. And I've got pretty I've got a, a pretty good knowledge of um tattoo equipment, etc. etc. So let's get started. So um please smash the like on the video. Please subscribe, it's gonna be a good video. We've got some of the world's best artists on this video. Um, those of which I am hoping to get on the podcast. I just wanna say a quick thank you to those people that have supported the podcast. Um, I talk about all the ta te tattoo techniques in this podcast and it's called the Incredible, Incredible Podcast. So there's two episodes out already. Third one's coming this week with Thomas um, Kalihalia. So he's a massive artist. He's got over 300K on Instagram. He's a big, big artist. Someone I look up to massively as well. Super, super nice guy. So yeah, it's going to come out this Friday, I think. So yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, so right. First of all, I'm just going to talk about my technique. So as you can see in the right hand corner, I'm doing a rose. Um, this is my stippling technique. Um, my course is going to be coming out at the end of the month as well. So that's something I ha I'm really excited for. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let's let's have a look at this technique. So basically, uh, I'm going to just go back. Can I go back? No. Yes, I can. Um, so here we go. As you can see, I think I'm using a I'm using a 0 0.8 um, 0 0.8 gauge uh, uh, three round liner. Um, so that's a bug pin. That's like a tight three round liner. And this is what I like to do with my my roses. And a lot of artists do this technique as well, which you'll see probably at the end of the video. I might put it next, but. Um, yeah, you'll see. So I like to keep my machine fast because I've got a fast hand speed uh, and I rely on my hand speed to make the dots um, closer or further away from each other as I put them in the skin, as you'll see. So if I let it play, you can see I'm just whipping it fast enough to create dots in the skin. You can see that here now. See that around here. Now, if I pause it, you can see here this is the, t the, the first layer of this technique. Now, when you wipe that away, um, it's not in this video, but when you wipe it away, you'll see what's in the skin, what's not. You'll see how um, saturated it is. And you can just cross, cross hatch this up so you can then, so I'm going like this. I like to try and keep in the flow of the, the leaf, the petal, this instance. So you can see this here, you can see my mouse. See this here and this one here, I'm always going in the direction of the petal. Um, so this will go like this, this will come out like this, and then so on. And it'll probably stay like that. And then as it comes around a corner, it will just change direction and then go up. That's really important to make it look effective, this technique. As you'll see when I come to Alex Saucer, because he's incredible incredible bruv it's incredible at doing this because he does it day in day out he's a master all these people that i've got on this video are masters at what they do um but i just wanted to put mine in here at the beginning to show you that so like the way i learn being not uh, i'm not working in a tattoo uh, a tattoo shop right now and i'm the only way i can learn is by studying different artists online videos or going to a seminar or taking a course or anything like that and I'm just going to show you what I look at and what I take from a video that will teach me how to get better and that's what I've done for the last five six years of tattooing because I've 
pretty much worked on my own apart from a year um so this is the the level that i've got to by just watching videos and taking it in and and digesting a video and then applying that to my work um so yeah so carry that on you can see i'm following on this part i'm following the uh the flow of the petal and for instance on this part it's hard it's quite hard to do on this one but i'll probably go like this which i've done from here on this corner on this line and then off of this part here i'll go up from this line and just whip it from this line back 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 really consistently keeping your hands being super consistent super consistent and then as we come to this part we then just change direction from here to here like that but slowly change it and then um adding like the the small details like this i've added into the leaf just just to create some more direction to that that petal so this is my technique and this is called stippling so in this part here i'm i'm pendulum swinging this so in this part i was uh going from the line and just whipping it out like this but in this part i'm going both ways i'm going whoop 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 so it's like this pendulum but on this part i was just whip 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 like that let's have a look let's go back again so look, i'm whipping from the line and then on this bit where i want to create a bit more of a softer shade I'm using both directions. And then I go over that bit to just soften it out. So, so yeah, so that is, that's my take on that. Cause a lot of people have asked me that. You can see my close-ups in this part just here. You've got skin prayer, palakta, you know, you can check out my Instagram. It's at the bottom of this screen. If you want to check it out, right. I might go on to Alex Saucer now. So this guy is a master at this technique. Uh, this is his Instagram, uh, and I'm just gonna go down his Instagram. So I like doing this. I've lo I've always wanted to do a, a video like this because it is informative, and you can go straight to the source because I'm showing you where it is. So I'm just gonna. So th this guy is a master. I'm just gonna actually. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just blow this up because I believe in a thing called love. Um, which window is it? This is the window to the wall when sweat runs down my balls. Right, let's go. Um, yeah, here we go. So, a bit blown up now, you can see it. But this is, this is the guy. He's insane. He's insane. He's actually insane. Um, and this technique as well, the one I've just shown you, um, it heals perfectly. And this is the guy, look, this is the guy, Thomas Kalihalia going to be on this friday tattoo podcast tune in um so yeah so this is <clears throat> this is the guy let me see if i can just find the video i was looking at saved all these pages but as i'm scrolling down his work his work's beautiful look here's a rose and you can see the direction of the dot see see um what i was saying about keeping the direction of the the petals it really makes it really makes it super fucking super uh, i mean in the middle you can see his direction is here like this because that's the the shade that's the shaded area so one direction's fine oh one direction's fine um but on the petals where you get a lot of flow that's where you then need to start taking that um <clears throat> so yeah i'm just gonna go down there was a video I saw. Wasn't that one? Uh, here we go. Now listen to his machine. He uses a. He uses a. Uh, can I blow this up? Oh my lord! What the hell's just gone on? Um, yeah, I'll blow it up. We'll do this. Oh, that's as big as you're getting. Okay. Um, so yeah, basically. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so basically, his machine runs quite slow, I believe. Now, the sound of it, I'm, go I'm just going off the sound. 
The sound of that machine is running slow. He uses a bishop rotary wand. I'm not sure if he uses the packer or the liner or the shader. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But look down the comments in his videos and his pictures because someone's probably good, probably asked it and he would have probably said about it. So let's have a look. You can see, it sounds to me that it's going quite slow. And you can see he's just keeping his hand movement a bit faster so it's not really, really lightly on the skin, just building those layers up. He's using a dark tone, obviously, to get this uh, shadow in there. <clears throat> there you go, you can see that now coming in. Here we go, here's the face. You can see how many layers he... It's almost using like a circular motion. Just literally, just touching the skin, just building the layers up. Really, 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 really minute. Now, he's probably using a bug pin as well. Here we go, this is... Beautiful technique for the hair. Hair's really hard. Exactly how I do mine as well. I use, I, I use instead of using a, he's probably using a three round liner or a bug pin three round liner, a tight liner. I use his shader, just creates a bit more of a softer effect. But it's just, depends on what, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, and that's the, the finished result. <clears throat> really, really, really good video. Now, all of these videos are um, there's there, there, there's there's tons on here. You just have to you just have to dig deep and find them. Um, so look, is this yeah? That's a time lapse. Got another one. Here we go. <clears throat> Here's another one. I'm not sure if that is a, a wand because that is quite loud. Sounds quite heavy. Is it a wand? Don't think so. That's not the grip of a wand. It's probably not a oh, wand, I'm not sure. Good. No, it looks, yeah, there you go. It is a rotary machine, but it's running quite slow. As you can see, the dots, and you can see the dots going into the skin. And just layering it up, layering those tones up, man. Not super black. Just picking really, really gently, and you, and he's he's just going in one direction, seeing how it looks, coming out, layering it back up, maybe cross hatching it, maybe doing a bit of an oval shape, just to make it look nice, just to build the layers up. <clears throat> he's definitely not you. So that sound is not a bishop wand. That is a another. It sounds like a, like a rotary works or something like that. I'm not sure. You'll have to ask him. Here you go. This is the final result. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just quickly whack it over a bit. <clears throat> it's really nice. Really, really nice. Ooh. So, yeah. Um, let's see if we've got some more on here. Here we go. Super, super light on the skin. Don't go heavy, man. Just literally touch the skin, especially if you're using uh, a three-round liner because it's so easy to penetrate the skin because it's such a small surface area. But again, with that nose, you're following the shape. You're following the shape of the skin, the direction of the skin. Again, look, he's changed direction. He's now going over the bridge, keeping it. Do you know what I mean? He's just layering that up. It does add effect beautiful it looks like a bishop looks like a bishop i'm not sure what it is though i couldn't see but look beautiful he hangs his needle out quite far as well that's another thing i've noticed just experiment hang it out a bit hang it out a bit more obviously he's not sticking the whole needle that's hanging out into the skin because that'd be drastic do not do that but it's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. I love his technique. But each hand stroke, again, look, consistent. Every time he touches the skin, whap, 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 consistent. Over the nose, whap, 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 consistent. Rhythm. 
rhythm and that's how you create smooth shading smooth shading what a, what a guy what a guy um let's have a look another one let's go for another one <clears throat> yes yeah, certainly not a uh, bishop wand they're not that loud it is a bishop rotary no that's a rotary works that that is a rotary works I could be wrong, but that does look like a rotary works. It's not bishop. Uh, Uncle Rot Uncle Roy Rotary. There you go. That's probably what it is. You can see that in the uh, in the thing. So it wasn't a bishop rotary or a rotary works. But yeah, beautiful work. Right, let's move on. Uh, we are going to go to Aston Reynolds. We're going to get onto the realistic stuff at the end because that's that's my favourite stuff. So Aston Reynolds. Um, He's a G. Uh, he's actually tattooed me a few times. He's from, well, obviously he's in Colchester now, but he was from uh, Norwich. If you watch my podcast, you'll hear. Um, I've mentioned him in that. Um, yeah, proper, proper sound guy. He's done my neck. He's done my side of my neck. He's done my back. Um, the outline of my back. Took six hours. Brutal. He's done most of the mandala on the top of my back as well. Um... Yeah, he's done my throat. Proper, proper sick guy. Um, and his work's phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, oh, I've really done my back in. And um, it's killing me oh, sitting here. But I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. Please smash like on the video. Please subscribe if you're new. Um, I wanted to show you this work because those of you that are struggling with line work, he is the G for line work. Um, now, he's sponsored by Bishop Rotary, Silverback Inc., Etc. So you know what inks he's using. You know what um, he's. Uh, I know when I got tattooed by him years ago, he was using Kurosumi black, which is a fucking solid black, bro. Solid. It's quite hard to wipe off the skin though, because it's so pigmented, so thick. But a really, really good, um, good ink. Really good, good ink. So let's jump straight into it. Now he uses. You can hear that. You can hear how fast this machine's running. Super, super clean, bro. Let's do it again. Nice and consistent. See how consistent this line is. All the way. Complete the line. Don't just do half of it. Complete the whole line. And 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 that's solid. That is solid. Here we go. There's another one. Complete the line to the point, and then it'll go back off off that point. It might even come up from here. I didn't show you, but yeah, really, really good tattooist. To I'm pretty sure he's using a. He's. I'm pretty sure he's using a um, a round shader for these lines. By the way. Look at, look at that. So where he stopped in the middle there, he went back into the line and then carried that on. Unreal. He's really, really good. Really good. Again, he's just done that whole line in one. Consistency. That was on the video and not in my... Uh... Beautiful work. Look at this. Super, super, super... It looks like he is using a round shader could be wrong though i could be wrong don't take it for gospel but that's what you get with round shaders really really sick full lines that's what i use if i was to do a tattoo like this i would use a round shader it's it sounds like he's running his machine if it's a uh a, a rot uh, bishop rotary wand uh, i know he does use bishop rotaries that's what he used to do uh, use on my he i'm pretty sure he used a v2 on mine um, but again, you can see, he's running quite high, keeping a nice slow hand speed, and he's got that hand speed and the machine speed on point to create an amazing line. Perfect lining, perfect lining. You cannot get better than that. Perfect lining. <clears throat> it's practice, it's practice, but he's probably using a round shader. Uh, let's, let's go into some dot work, see if we've got any dot work here. Yeah, this is definitely a bishop uh, wand. I'm sure it is. 
definitely a bishop one. Look, again, look, see, see that, see this here. This is th this is a lot of needle hang, and he's not putting the whole needle in the skin. Otherwise, the skin would be here. He's literally going in at the depth you need to go in, which is two millimeters average. Average skin is two millimeters, and that is how deep you need to go to put ink in, into the skin. Even if it's a, a, a three round liner or a shader mag or whatever, it still goes the same depth into the skin. You don't need to go deep. A lot of people go deep. You don't need to go deep. Uh, and by hanging the needle out like this, gives you way more control over the depth, over your lines. You can see what you're doing because the ink's not pulling out. Because as soon as you touch this, this uh, end of this cartridge onto the skin, it's game over. Wang! Just all over the place. Makes it hard to see. See how clean, it, clean he works. Great for videos as well. <clears throat> And that's it. We're going to see that one, one more time. Here you go. Look, finds his depth. Commits to the line all the way through because he's a fucking G. You can see that. Not sticking the needle all the way in. Bang. Clean, bro. Clean. That is one clean ass line, Aston. Jeez. Right, so let's quickly have a look at some dots. <clears throat> Where the hell is he? I can hear a. Uh, I can hear the F1 in the background, but look, <clears throat> super slow. You don't have to be fast. Super slow. Consistent. It's going to go over that. I thought it was going to go back over that just to make it all a bit even. Bang. Multiple passes just to make it even. And that's it. But you can see how he's, how he's done his lines. I mean his dots. He's dotted out the parts that he needs to dot out. And he's kept the consistency of how far, far apart his dots are. And that adds to the effect of how clean your work will be. See every space is pretty much the same. It's not like really close together, really far apart. It's just perfect really. Here you go. <clears throat> one. This is a bit faster. Again, he's running his machine a bit faster. Sounds like he's into the F1. And you'll see these. You'll see. Very loud. You'll see. <clears throat> just slow, consistent. Methodic. Methodical. And there we go. Does he wipe it? I'm not sure. Beautiful work, man. And you can go and check this out on his on his profile. Look, and you can see that he's using different tones. Grey wash. Like this is probably solid black. This is probably a medium tone or a light. Um. I'm pretty sure he's just using two tones. He's just using two tones. I think he is. Yeah, he's just using two tones in this because he's he, he's leaving this section skin color. So he's using a black, like a mid tone maybe, or maybe a light tone, and then he's using the skin tone to create that that extra uh, depth. Right. I need to make haste because my back is killing me, bro. I've been laid down. Um, for time now david vega i've been trying to get him on the podcast he said yes but he's not replying to me reply to me david we need your help we need your expertise um this guy is one of my all-time favorites um he's one of my all-time favorite tattooists now i'm going to shrink the page again go so it's a bit Thingy. Uh, you can see his full profile, David underscore Vega 83. Um, just have a look. Click on, look, you can see these on mobile. I'm obviously online now on my PC, but you can see these IGTVs. Hell yeah. We have 19 minutes, one hour and 25 minutes. 
We've got 22. This, this is the type of stuff you need to be doing, guys, to get better, to learn, to, to build yourself, you know? That's what I've done. That is literally all I've done. Um, the content's there. It's just fishing it out. The internet's a marvelous place. It really is. So, yeah. So, let's have a look. <sighs> oh, okay. Let, right. Let's go. Um, so, I'm pretty sure there was a two-pack one. Now, one thing I have to say about David Vega is his technique is insane, bro. It is insane. We're gonna go. We're, we're just gonna go straight to the IG. It's insane. It is insane. Um, there's no audio on this, really. We're gonna try and can we can we zoom in to this? We need to zoom in. Um, zoom. We can fucking zoom, bruv. Whoa, not that far though. Yeah, that far. Oh, here we go. It's not started yet anyway, but. Oh my God, what the hell? Fucking have it. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's fast forward a bit. It's off camera, off screen. Um, here you go. So he's hanging his needle out quite far. It's quite a blurry video. I'm not sure what he uses to record. Oh, my back. Honestly, guys, it's so bad. I've been in agony. I'm on Dizzy Pound a lot. It's crazy. Um, it's not helping me sit sitting on this shit chair. But look, he uses a lot of the backward motions to put his ink in. It's almost like really slow hand speed as well. This is what I'm getting from it. This is what I think he does. Really slow hand speed. He uses bug pin mags, I think. Curved curved bug pin mags and he's creating these really minute small lines um if you if you try the technique um you'll see and then he'll just cross hatch it and then use a little pendulum motion just to smooth it out with a light a lighter shade um let really see what it's doing go up to we go He's literally just touching his skin. Super light on the skin again. A bit like um, Alex Saucer was with the, uh, with the, uh, you know. With the liner. There's no um, thingy. I'm pretty sure he uses vaults around 8.7. He uses the Bishop One shader machine as well. Um, shout out to the guy that, that won the raffle. He won that shader from me. So there we go. It's the same machine you, he's using, bro. There you go. Look, he's using the backward motion. He's dragging it backwards. He's not going forwards. He's coming back, 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 building those layers up. Look, beautiful technique. Beautiful technique. I, I would say he's using around 8.7 volts, 8.5 to 9 volts, I would say. Um, and he's just choosing his tech, uh, his uh, his grey wash tones very carefully, and that's what m makes his work super smooth. Because uses a mag on pretty much everything, even the eyes. I can't use a mag on the eyes, not yet. I need to practice more on that. Um, I just like the uh, the way uh, liners look, or really small shaders. I use a five round shader to do eyes. It's just. Just what I like to do because I'm comfortable. But yeah, you can see. Oh, my back. Really in agony here. You can see the technique. Let's see if we've got a bigger mag section coming up. Again, he's just he's manipulating the side of the mag to get that to get that uh so instead of doing it like this, he's turning it and getting that line. He's getting that line in. And you can see that. You can see that in the video. And I mean, is look, it's forty six minutes. There's an hour. There's 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 stuff to study. Uh, the size of the needle, maybe a nine curve mag bug pin, or even an eleven curve mag bug pin. 
I wouldn't say it's any bigger than that. Maybe pushing a 15, but I don't think it's 15. I'm pretty sure it's an 11 curve bug pin mag. Um, yeah, that's what I think. And then for the really big areas, I would say maybe a 17 or even bigger. Let's see if we can f see that. He's just feathering in the layers. You don't have to go deep, but he takes a long time to do tattoos, which isn't an issue. It's whatever time. There's no time limit. It's whatever time you take. It doesn't matter if it takes four hours, three hours, or if it takes fucking 12 hours. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. He's a slow tattooist, but you you can see by, by his work why. Here we go. We've got a big mag now. He switched to a big mag to do this big area. Guessing. So that's solid black here. Just switched to a big mag. Again, look, he's using the side of the mag to just make the whole place shake. Side of the mag to put these small line details in. And he's pulling back, create, creating those lines, and it just makes it makes it look so soft, so smooth. And that's just the technique he uses. And I've tried this technique. It looks way easier than 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 it is. It's fucking hard. So hard. It's going both ways now. Really slow, consistent. Keeping your hand speed consistent throughout the whole tattoo is the hardest thing. And it's a lot of concentration. A lot of concentration. Oh, I'm in pain, man. Oh, how long have we been doing this? Half hour. <laughs> we're good, we're good. We're grinding, we're battling. Um, yeah. You know, I'm I'm really hoping he comes on a podcast because I've got tons of questions to ask him. But this is what I I take from his stuff. I got I got uh, wh wh whenever he goes live as well, I screen record his his live sessions on my phone so I can look back at it on my phone. Stuff like that. That's 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 the grind you're gonna make in order to get better. You know, someone sticking out live videos like this, they're priceless, man. And it's my job to tell you what I'm looking at. And that's what I'm doing. He's hanging the needle out quite far. As you can see, I can see that. It is a curved mag, I can see it's a curved mag. And he's just brushing that skin really lightly, creating multiple layers uh, with different gray tones. And that's his technique. He's pulling back a lot though. A lot, a lot of his technique is pulling back. It's just amazing how how he gets that straight into the skin. There we go. Last little bit of this video. Oh, my bad. Um, so let's go back. We go back. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at this one. I think I remember this one. This is. Oh, zoom zoomage, David sure what he uses look how smooth this this is bro it's fucking insane um oh he's sticking white in again he uses uh with white he uses the same the same stuff same technique really light on the skin i've got to move i've got to, i've got to stop oh, wow so yeah so that's this is the type of stuff you can achieve if you have look look how look how it heals as well. I'm, I'm presuming this is his work. Look how this heals, bro. Different tones, how smooth that is. Right, okay. So from from David Vega, we have the last one, Ralph. Um, Ralph Nonweiler, his name, and tattooing is his game. And he is probably my favorite tattooist for portraits, like hyper realistic portraits. This is fucking hard to do. And his technique is a lot like David Vega's. <clears throat> um, you see in this one here. Um, look at that. Wait, let me, uh, let me stick the, uh, the sound on. It's probably uh, the same kind of speed as David Vega. Really, really. Now, th now this kind of technique takes ages ages it's a lot of patience something i haven't got um i've tried to slow down i've tried to be patient I, I, it's so hard for me to do that 
um, I could do the first hour or two like it, and then I just slowly start getting back up to my my normal speed. But you can see that it's very consistent. Look, every hand stroke, every time the needle touches the skin, it's the same consistent consistent speed. He's just brushing that in, just building up layers. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's going to chew the skin up because so many passes. Not when you're touching it so lightly. Do you know what I mean? It's barely touching the skin, just building up them layers, man. S smoothing it all out. Um, let's have a look at some other ones. Here we go. Look how far his needle's sticking out. It's not that far, but it's a lot further than what most people would do. He's literally going through everything, just picking it out. Just barely touching it. Just making sure everything... And, and this is like... This is... I mean, for me... It's like, where do I start with this? Because you have to get to a point where you're picking these things out, these these kind of details, this level of detail out in your, in your, um, in your stencil, first of all. This has to come from your stencil. And you can see how good these tattooists are because the skin's hardly red, you know? I mean, there may be a bit of a filter over it, but it's hardly red. It's not bleeding, it's not weeping. You know, you're always going to get that, but... He uses small needles as well. A lot of his needles are quite small, like this one. I'd say like an 11 curve mag, again, bug pin. Um, and that's because he gets a lot of detail in the face. So it's, it's, there's a lot of small parts like this, then there's this, then there's this. There's not a lot of massive, massive areas for massive bits of shading. He'll just, you know get as much detail in as possible there's not there's not massive areas because you know the majority of port, port, portraits he will do is a lot of wrinkles it, you know the the level of detail he goes into is is so deep that he doesn't really need a massive massive needle unless he's using i don't know like a big needle for like a background bit or something you know um well like this part and here i would say probably used a bigger needle for this to get this consistent smooth shading but it's hard to tell man here we go this is a proper close-up look at this this is insane this is insanity look just brushing over to create that oh man this technique is insane i wish i had the patience i really do again look small details barely touching his skin looks like it's not doing anything but it is trust me because he can layer that up and he's that light on the skin he's already put white parts into the into the tattoo look and it's not affecting him it's not muddying them because he's just super light on the skin I wouldn't trust myself to do that here you go he's a super close up that's a bit of a slow one but you can see hand speed, hand speed. Here you go, look, on the backstroke, 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 backstroke. A lot like what David Vega does this. It's exactly the same thing as what David Vega does. And you can see now, if I pause this, you can see these tiny, minute lines. And that is how they do it. It's just layering it up. I mean, then you've got to go... Then you have to think about light direction and stuff like that and see these lines in the skin. I mean, uh, there's, see, look, you can see the lines in the skin, even up here. Um, super, super insane. Brilliant tattoos. And this is the, is the kind of thing, look, you can see the lines small minute lines and that's what david vega does as well this is what ralph does obviously his uh, his work um and you can see the u the uniform dots because his hand speed and his machine speed is in perfect unison he's not getting the jaggedy lines 
from well in my course i explain if you use if you move your hand too fast you're going to start to get these lines it's like mag lines they're called your work and that's you need to slow your hand speed down like ralph just now really super slow there you go and that th th this is a perfect video right here perfect video right here let me move this up perfect video right here that technique is the money that's the money just there it's the money it's the money shot it is the money shot. Let's zoom this motherfucker right in. Let's zoom this motherfucker right in. Look at that. Beautiful. You can see all these uniform small dots. It's the money shot right there, baby. Ralph. John Wyler. See all them small small dots? See, can you see all them small dots just here? That is when you know your machine speed and your hand speed is perfectly on sync, brother. And it comes out in your work and it makes it look su super smooth. And that's that is what you're trying to achieve. That is what you're trying to trying to achieve this level. And that and that is tattoo perfection for me. Crazy, crazy. And these lines here, you can see on the petal. This is a rose, I'm guessing. It might even be someone's neck rolls or something, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's a rose, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. But, it looks like a rose, but this but this line here is used with the mag. He hasn't used the liner with that, he uses everything mags. Look at that technique. Super slow, consistent hand speed. And that's it. And I'm going to end this video now because my back is killing me it's been 42 minutes and i hope you've learned something from this um but go go uh, here goes some hair here some hair here we're going to turn it off because it's going to um demonetize and again look this is how you do hair you turn your mag to the side just go with the direction of the hair brother and that's it and he's using these lines that you can see how he's moving them along, creating that flow of the hair. All these dots, same speed, same technique. You just turn in the mag from that to this. And then you create some lines like this. Beautiful. What a guy. What a guy. Oh. Uh, should we do one more? Let's do one more. Got some love from the Instagram. Um, yeah, you know. See all these, see these tiny minute lines. See them now. This is a really great, great thing. And, and, and you just cross hatch it until it makes a nice uniform, uniform, uh, you know, shade. See that? Beautiful. He's using the backstroke, coming back, and then he'll he'll you know, pendulum it like this. He's using the back backstroke. He's not going forward, not whipping it out. He's coming back. Incredible. Incredible. Every time he touches that skin, number one thing to take from this video, guys. The number one thing. Look at me in the eyes. The number one thing to take from this video, guys, is consistency, hand speed consistency. That is what you are going to achieve smooth shading with, and ultimately, your work will become a lot better. Slow, slow your hand speed down. You've seen these guys, slow your hand speed down, consistently move your hand across the skin every time that needle touches. That skin. Smooth shading, brother. Don't go too deep. Just layer it up. Hang your needle out a bit more. Only dip the, the, the needle tip into the ink. Don't take too much ink because it will pull out. Really tiny, tiny layer of uh, ointment on the skin. Seen in my live videos and that's it. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to go because my back is killing me. Please smash a like on the video. Please subscribe. Please smash a like on the video if, if you want to see a part two. I'll look at, uh, uh, there's hundreds of artists I can do this on. Um, let me know. Please smash a comment in the uh, comment section. Uh, get your artists in that I can have a look at. Um, you know, I'm always looking at, you know, to take more information from different artists. So please smash a, a comment in a section. You want me to look at someone and maybe dissect their uh, videos out down for you. Yeah, let's make this uh, this video a big one. Take care, guys. My back's sore. My back's sore. Stay safe out there. It's lockdown. Stay safe. I love you all.